The first thing you'll do in Photoshop is either open a file or create a new file. So let's go over how to do both. When you launch the latest version of Photoshop CC, you may see a start screen that looks something like this. If you wanted to open an existing image, you could go to the open button on the start screen and click, or if you wanted to create a new image from scratch, you could use the new button on the start screen. But there's another way to get to these same commands from anywhere in Photoshop. So even if your start screen isn't showing, you can always go up to the file menu at the top of Photoshop and choose new or open from there. Let's go ahead and choose Open from the File menu to open some existing image files into Photoshop. That will launch your Mac Finder or your Windows File Explorer, where you'll navigate through your file system to an image file and select it. You could select one of the practice files that come with this tutorial, as I'm doing, or you can select an image of your own. If you want to open more than one image at a time, hold the Command key on a Mac or the Control key on Windows and select another image file. Then click the Open button. Both selected images open into Photoshop's editing workspace, which is called the Document Window. At the top of the Document Window, there is a tab for each open image, and the tab tells you the name of the image. If you want to see another open image, just click its tab. So that's how to open existing images. Let's leave those open and talk about how to create a new image from scratch. You might do that when you want a blank canvas on which to draw or on which you want to place some images. So this time, from the File menu, let's choose New. That opens this new document window. Photoshop comes with a lot of blank document presets that you can start with. To find one that works for you, first select a category of documents from the top of the window photo, print, art and illustration, or one of these others. I'm going to select photo. Next, choose one of the preset sizes in this section called Blank Document Presets. If you don't see one you like, there's an option here to view more presets, view all presets. I'm going to select this preset, the Landscape Orientation 4x6. Over on the right, all the details have now been set up for me, including the width and the height. If you decide that's not exactly the size you want, you can type a different size into the width or height fields. Any of the other settings on the right could be customized too, but sticking with the presets takes the worry out of having to figure out technical details at the beginning. And these settings could be changed later in Photoshop if you need to. So to finish creating a new document, click the Create button and your new blank document opens in Photoshop, ready for you to add a photo, text, or maybe a shape, all as you'll learn to do as you continue through this tutorial series.